I'm Chris Stokes and I'm the lead educator of Discover Dentistry. I got into dentistry through a careers day at school actually as a, um, I was interested in a career that would be practical but also based in science and I was on a careers day, went into a room and there was a large table covered in dentures and dental appliances and I sort of gravitated towards it and started to talk to the person behind the table who ended up being the, um, the lead for a dental technology course. It was a BTEC diploma which still exists today and it got me really really interested in the idea that I could spend time doing something practical and making medical devices. Um, I went home, I started doing career exploration which then was writing off for leaflets and information packs from dental societies and I remember looking at leaflets covered in pictures of dental technicians working and, and explained what they did in the career pathways and I thought that is for me. I, so I enrolled on this BTEC and I spent three years studying dental technology which had elements of how to make all the appliances, um, the dental materials, working in a dental team, all the bits and bobs. And I came to the end of that at three years and I thought, well, what am I going to do now? And I started talking to the teachers on my course and they said, well, if you want to stay in dental technology, why don't you qualify further? You could go to university. And this was a bit of a surprise to me because nobody in my family had been to university. I didn't know any dentists or other members of the dental team, only really who was on my course and who I'd done work placements with. So I started to explore my options and at the time there were two courses, one at Manchester and one at Sheffield and I ended up coming here to Sheffield to study a degree in dental technology. And that was a whole new world to me. I didn't really know what university was. Um, it took a while for me to get used to the idea. Um, but as I got into it, I discovered that I really liked dental materials and the degree gave me the flexibility to explore that. I ended up doing a project in my final year of my degree looking at dental materials, in fact dental glasses. And um, that's what led me on to say, actually, it's dental materials I'm really, really interested in. I'm, I'm, I, I do like making dental prostheses and working as a dental technician, but in researching these materials is what I'd really, really like to do. And university gave me that opportunity. I then went on to study a PhD. Um, here at Sheffield again in the engineering materials department and spent three years researching dental ceramics. While I was doing my PhD I also got interested in teaching. It happened almost by accident. I was demonstrating as it's called. I was helping other under undergraduates do practical experiments and, and with their seminars. I was also going into schools and talking to school children about career pathways in dentistry and also in material science. And while I was doing this, I thought it would be a good idea maybe to get some help in, in being a better teacher. And I originally did a postgraduate certificate in education in order to um, get skilled up. And it was amazing to me. It was like somebody had lifted the curtain and it was behind the scenes of all the teaching that I'd previously, up to that point, just digested and taken at face value. I was now working out how it was constructed, how it was all put together, and, uh, and what made a good teaching session. When I finished my PhD, I was so enthralled with the education side of things, I actually ended up working for a few years on a project that looked at interprofessional education in dentistry, how we can teach dentists, dental technicians, dental nurses, all of the team to work together, how they can learn from each other to, to um, better provide care for the patient. When I finished my uh, original job in interprofessional learning, I became a teacher here at the School of Clinical Dentistry and I currently teach in materials, tooth morphology, dental technology. Um, but I'm also very much involved in delivery of education by distance learning. And this is where Discover Dentistry came from. I really want to help people get into dental professions, especially if they're from a background that's not traditional, if you like. They're a bit like me. They don't know people who've been to university or there's not dentists in the family. I like to try and find ways to help them gain the knowledge and experience that will allow them to make a good application. So um, I work on schemes here at Sheffield to help local um, school students um, in, in, in applying for dental courses. Um, and Discover Dentistry is a way of broadening that out and the idea was to make a course that if you were thinking about a dental career you would be able to um, learn together with other people um, about how to do it. Now Discover Dentistry provided a few surprises I think in that we put it on for aspiring dentists but in fact it attracted a, 
a much bigger bubble of people than that. We ended up with aspiring dentists, but we also ended up with dental professionals wanting to engage with the public, but also these people who wanted to study dentistry in the future. But also there were members of the public who wanted to talk about their dental experiences or wanted to learn more about the subject of dentistry. And when you put all these people together into the unique environment that is a MOOC, all learning together in a small compact period of time, based on questions and videos that they've seen. It's an incredibly rich environment where people can learn about the profession but also ask and have questions answered um, about anything they really want to know. So if you're exploring a career in dentistry now, it's not about leaflets covered in, in little sort of cartoons showing you what the job might be. You've got the opportunity of going online, you can sort of tweak people and get responses, but you can also now do Discover Dentistry and uh, have this big conversation on an international platform that allows you to explore your career.